He said. Grant Robertson is in order. Question number five, <laughs> Phil Twyford. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Housing. Does he stand by all his statements? Doc, uh, Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, I particularly stand by my statement thanking the member for putting hoardings up of me all over Auckland. I am disappointed not to have had a response to my offer to recycle them for my next Nelson campaign. I also stand by my other statements. <laughs> Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Does he stand by his comment in the Herald that Aucklanders need to accept lower quality developments if they want affordable housing? Mr Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, I have the full statement here. I said this. We need to have an upfront discussion about the balance between affordability and quality. Affordability has been given too little weight. This statement is based on the authoritative uh, uh, analysis by the Productivity Commission, which pointed out that over the last decade, we've only been building houses in the very top quartile, over $700,000. And if we are to deliver more affordable homes for New Zealanders, then we actually need to change that balance. Supplementary, Mr Supplementary Speaker. Supplementary question, Phil. What does he say to Gary Taylor of EDS, who says the bill is a serious assault on the planning framework, which can only lead to slums? Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, the greatest threat to Aucklanders on low incomes is having house prices continue to go up by 13 per cent per year. And that is why this government is committed to a comprehensive programme to improve the affordability of housing for all Aucklanders. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Can he point to the provision in the bill that will prevent special housing areas with lower quality standards being imposed on residents of established suburbs in Auckland who are already fearful of more relaxed development rules? Okay. Honourable let, Dr Nick Smith. Let me make quite plain the government's objective is both affordable and quality homes. But it is not possible to have a situation where, for instance, on the rural fringes of towns, including my own in Nelson, local neighbourhood insisting on very large sections, very minimum sizes, wanting to exclude, for instance, social housing, and somehow pretend that this is, Parliament is going to get a solution to the challenges that we have around affordable housing. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order. My question asks the Minister to point to the provision in the bill that would prevent the situation occurring of slums. He didn't address the question. Could the, could the Minister please address that part of the uh, Mr Speaker, the special housing bill, the member is happy to read, it's before a select committee, only allows areas to go ahead where there is the agreement of both the Council and the Government. I reassure the member... Well, well indeed. And the, the member... This government is committed to providing additional housing, and I assure the member that we are focused on both quality and affordability. Supplementary, Mr. Supplementary Speaker. question, Phil Twyford. If a leading commentator says that his bill will cause slums, if the Auckland Council, if the Auckland Council says it won't sign his housing accord, and if two thirds of New Zealanders say the government's not doing enough to promote affordable housing, isn't it time to rethink his policy? At all, Mr Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. If I look at the nine-year record of the previous government, 90% of the houses that were built under the previous Labor government were over $650,000. Now, 90% of the new houses built during Labor's period were only for the very top income group. And this is a government this is a government that is committed to building affordable homes for all New Zealanders, thus the reforms and the programme that we have before the House. Question, order. Question number six, Dr Russell Norman. Uh, point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, Dr.